One day I was watching this morning and they were talking about angels and something clicked inside and I suddenly had a memory of when I was a little girl and I remembered getting into difficulties in the sea off the Isle of Wight and nearly drowning and I heard a voice and the voice said to me you can drown if you want to clearly I didn't want to do that or we can help you back to shore and I thought what was that was that angels was that I don't know what that is and I started doing a lot of research and as a result of that I became a sort of an accidental expert and before you know it um, angels is, is everything that I do and I became the angel lady after that. I suddenly found that people were telling me about their own paranormal experiences and amongst those were lots of stories where people were telling me about their children. Now there seem to be many children at the moment who are being born with extraordinary psychic powers, paranormal abilities. Lots of children who are able to communicate with their deceased loved ones, little children who are talking to grandparents that they've never met who've been dead for maybe many years and I was getting more and more of these experiences and realised there was a bit of a trend going on here. So what I wanted to do was to create the handbook for people. I wanted people to have one reference that was going to give them all the information that simply you just can't find anywhere. So that's how Angel Kids was developed. I've met many celebrities as a result of the work that I've done, which is an exciting extra. And I think what's, what's brilliant is that uh, a lot of the celebrities that I've met are also interested in psychic phenomena nowadays. So they're kind of helping to spread the word. I do talks all over the country and I found that when I first sort of started many years ago that I get one or two people come along and then you know maybe 10 and then 20 and 30 and now I talk to hundreds and hundreds of people and I found that the interest in angels and the afterlife which I cover and the two seem to merge very much that the interest is growing and growing and growing and I think what's exciting is that more information is becoming available uh, not just in books these days, but also on the television. So people are more aware, people are more enlightened, and people want to learn more. And so what I usually say to people is, uh, it's not as difficult as you might think. People uh, believe that you have to have a set of instructions to make these connections with the uh, angelic race or with their loved ones on the other side. They feel they need to have crystals and candles and meditate and things like that. You don't have to do any of that stuff that when people have their first encounters it's usually in times of need or distress and what we normally do is shout help and it's as simple as that, we shout help and then that's when people find that those communications, that those connections occur. So that's what I try to do in the workshops is teach people that it's just a matter of opening yourself up to it, nothing complicated to it at all.